school and now Gentry and I are headed to pick my mom up and then we are going to go run a few errands. Um, two of the places that we are going today um, are, one is called the Family Tree and it is along the lines of like a pike nursery, what I would consider. Um, so we're going to go there to check out some of their stuff for the yard and then the next place we're going to go is called Grower's Outlet and it is a along the same lines as like a pike nursery or something but it's just plants flowers shrubs um stuff for your garden um and they usually have them at cheaper prices so we are going to head to the, those two places um to check out some flowers i'm wanting to redo my patio and um add some flowers and plants and things like that so that's where we're headed today. Um, I did find a cute little table and a cute little like pot and stand thing um, yesterday while I was out or it may have been, yeah, I think it, yeah, it was yesterday while I was out. So I will share that with you guys. Um, but stick around until the very end of this video because after I get that stuff done, I'm gonna do a few things to my house and then I'm gonna fix a really yummy recipe for us for dinner. So I don't want you guys to miss out on that. So just stick around and hang out with us for the whole video and through the day. So here we are at our first stop. We are at the Family Tree. It is located in Snellville, Georgia. If you are a local, I would highly recommend checking it out. Um, they have a ton of stuff for your home for decorating, and they also have some really beautiful flowers. And then our next stop was the Growers Outlet, and this is located in Loganville, Georgia, and they have a ton of flowers and plants to choose from. So we got tons of flowers. Um, I got lots of different things to do some containers in, on my porch. Um, my mom helped me pick out several different things. I'm still learning about flowers. Like this is all really new to me. Normally, I'm one of those that just, um, maybe puts like one or two little flower pots out and that's like literally it i've never been one to like plant different things and like make an arrangement in like a container so this is definitely new to me but um i'm wanting to learn more about flowers and plants and growing herbs and vegetables and things like that so um, that's what I've been doing is uh, my mom gave me some magazines my mom is one that like she works in her yard all the time and she has a gorgeous yard and so I want to follow in her footsteps and I want to have a pretty yard too but my problem has always been not knowing like where to plant something like what's good for the Sun what's good for the shade um, what's gonna come back what's not gonna come back so um, I definitely have been doing a lot of research through magazines and online, just trying to learn um, different things about flowers. So anyways, I'm gonna attempt to make some different arrangements in some pots because I wanna be able to really enjoy our back porch this year. And so I feel like it'll just dress it up by having some pretty arrangements. So that is what we did today. We um, ended up at Growers Outlet and at Family Tree. And so, um, I got different things from from both places so that's what we're doing now is we are headed home to get all of this stuff unloaded from my car and then it should be about time to pick Jacob from school so this is just an old flower pot that I have had for years and I knew that one day I would find a use for it. So I decided to use some chalk spray paint and just spray paint the thing um, and actually y'all it turned out really great so I used the Rust-Oleum chalked paint and this was one that I found at an Ace Hardware. Um, it was just like a grayish blue color which I thought was really pretty and would go really well with my outdoor set. So I'm just going to spray it pretty lightly with one coat. I'm going to let that dry and then I'll go back in with another coat and then I will show you the finished product. So when I was 
in Ross the other day, I found this really cute flower pot. And so this is, it's just like very modern and sleek. It's black and it has like a cute little stand. And so my mom helped me pick this one out and then this other plant that I'm gonna put into it. I wanted something that was just pretty basic and green, but had just a little pop of color and it's supposed to kind of spill over the sides. And so this is what the final product looks like. And then the green will just kind of spill and grow. And I think it's gonna be really pretty with my patio set. And here is my chalk painted flower pot with all of my flowers put in it. So I'm super excited about that. And then I also found this little table at Ross the other day and I thought it was just really unique and it was $39.99, which I thought was a great price. And I thought it would just be a cool addition to um, the porch. Now moving into my kitchen. This is a shelf that came from my hair salon when I moved out. And so I just wanted to take everything off of it and get it redecorated because I wasn't really happy with how I had it decorated. So I took everything off and then this was when it was completely finished and I put everything back on and I think I'm really happy with it. stuff done outside we are just going to move on to cooking dinner i have my partner here with me she is playing with a poppet she's not really helping but she's hanging out with me so we're going to get our dinner going so this is one of our favorite dinners that we do sometimes and let me tell you it is so so simple but so so good so they are barbecue stuffed baked potatoes and we just buy the um, barbecue that's pre-made from the grocery store lloyd's is one of our favorites and then we just mix up a caesar salad kit with it which as you know you've seen in several of my videos we absolutely love these so you just bake the potato put the barbecue on top you add some cheese some light sour cream and your salad and there you have it ready to take my shower everyone else has already had their baths and now they're watching tv so i'm gonna get my shower and then we are gonna head to bed we are all super exhausted as usual but thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it give us a thumbs up if you haven't already i would love for you to subscribe to our channel and we will see you guys next time bye